بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میرے دوستوں دوستوں آج کے اس ویڈیو میں ہم آپ کو بتائیں گے کہ ہاؤ ٹو ریویو ڈاکومنٹس ان آئیکونیکس ہاؤ ٹو بیسک سرچ آف ڈاکومنٹس ہاؤ ٹو اپلوڈ ڈاکومنٹس سینڈ ڈاکومنٹس اینڈ ٹرانسمیٹل ان آئیکونیکس ان پوائنٹس کو ہم اس ویڈیو میں کور کریں گے ویڈیو شروع کرنے سے پہلے میں سید ذوالفقار زیدی آپ دیکھنا شروع کر چکے ہیں میرا یوٹیوب چینل ریالٹی آف لائف سب سے پہلے آپ ویڈیو دیکھیں ہاؤ ٹو ریویو ڈاکومنٹس وی نیڈ ٹو آئیڈینٹیفائی دا ڈاکومنٹس ٹو بی ریویوڈ لیٹس ہیڈ اوور ٹو دا ڈاکومنٹ رجسٹر اینڈ سرچ فار دم وی سلیکٹ دا ڈاکومنٹ ٹائپ ایز ڈرائنگ اینڈ سٹیٹس ایز فار ریویو We can select one or more documents to be reviewed. Under Transmit, select Start a Workflow. We can also start workflows from a transmittal we received. Let's find a recent transmittal and select some documents. Let's start the process. Here are the documents we selected earlier. We can add more by clicking here. We can also add supplementary files here. These might be instructions for reviewers or other relevant files that aren't intended for review. Let's click Next. We'll select a template that forms the structure of the workflow. We can search for it by name or organization. Here's a template we created earlier. On the next screen, we can change the name of the workflow and provide additional instructions for the reviewers. Let's set the reason for issue. Depending on the template, We can make changes to the workflow duration and participants. Let's give the lead reviewer some more time. Now we're happy with the workflow details. Let's click Submit to start the workflow. A workflow transmittal will be sent to the participants added in the first stage of the workflow. Congratulations. You're now ready to start your first workflow. Friends, now I'm going to show you how to basic search documents, how to upload documents. and send documents or transmittal in Iconex video up to some Iconex tutorial part for how to basic search of documents in Iconex and how to upload and send the documents or transmittals hey I am good and you also good this is short clip of Iconex to teach you how to work efficiently in Iconex as a document controller I hope video will be more helpful for you Firstly we will know what is the Akinex in construction and engineering projects in thousands of drawings and documents and other type of information in the past difficult to store somewhere. But now everything is digital. Akinex CDMS stores store going safe and securely online. This video focus on how to do basic document session in Akinex. And also upload and send documents and transmittals. This is my Akinex interface I want to show to do basic search in Akinex. I want to show to do basic search in Akinex. This is task page and these are the modules. Click on documents and go document register. Can you see more field and you can find as you want. If you want random search and click on search you see all documents in Akinex bottom side. connects all of it and you can set your iconex to show you how how many pages you want to see at any time so you can see we have 3000 documents currently on this project if you want to do a more detailed search on iconex you can put in the document number the type or the status or even the role So for example, I put in contractor search and all the documents that have contractor role <coughs> would come up. And in this we have 49 documents. Now if I want to search for a document for contractors, I just have to clear what I've done before. go back to my roles and put my role on architects search and all the 
all the documents that have to do with architects pops up and you can see i have 343 of these documents i just need to clear all filters if i want to check for a type of document i could just say health and safety search and all the health and safety documents will pop up and we just have three of this clear or filter and that's how to do a basic search on econex so next we're going to do i'm going to show you how to upload and send documents on econex so you go to documents upload a new document then you see these fields you have to fill all these fields because they are mandatory before you can upload any documents so once you have the document number the revision the title the type status the role the zone the level and the package once all that is filled out you choose the documents you want to upload by clicking on this button once you do that and you fill this area created by then you can upload the document once your document is uploaded it would show you if you want to transmit these documents to other organizations if you want to do that you click on transmit this document that is after you're done with this page I can't actually do anything right now because this is just a demo. Then you can transmit documents to other organizations that need it. Dosto, ummeed karte hain mera ye video aap logon ko pasand aayega aur Iconex se related aur videos hum banate rahenge aur upload karte rahenge. Video dekhne ke liye bahut shukriya. Allah Hafiz.